Hmm. I don't know how it's going to go. I don't know how it works. There you go. Okay. So? What would you like to talk about? What is your... Well, personally, I want to ask you what brought you to YouTube, for one. Um, I guess seeing other people's videos, um, and I have a MacBook, so I was like, I wonder if I can upload any videos on mm. YouTube, and that's basically how I got, got started. And the one Pia have also um, recommended for me to start uploading my videos onto YouTube, mm. so that, that was the other reason. Hmm. I found it fascinating when I started doing the YouTube. <laughs> when I started doing the YouTube, it was a uh, it, it tripped me out because uh, of the freedom that people can speak. So, did, you know, was that another reason, or, or what? What did you think about what people could actually get away with saying? It, it kind of shocked me a little bit because um, Keep on. I know people have been saying whatever they would like to say on the YouTube, no matter how disrespectful the disrespect and how global it was. I'm sorry, people owe me money, I'm sorry, my bad, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm a very outspoken person, you know, and I think, I guess that's why um, the one P had recommended me to go ahead and, you know, upload some videos onto my account mm -hmm. because of the comments that I used to leave on his page. You know, and he was like, man, I wish you could have put that on video, you know. Uh, so, I guess that's the other thing. So, do you understand the power you have? The I word? Do. You I know. do, because, um, such as yourself, mm. I know you have a lot of followers and stuff, and mm. um, people subscribe to you, and they subscribe to you for a reason, because mm. you have a message. You know, uh, or, or you just like them, or they can see a little bit of them in you. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's uh, a lot to do with it. Well, the, the fun part about the whole YouTube thing for me is the camaraderie. You see, like I said, I was watching a video last night, and this guy's like, us people, us, the ones who get to speak and show our faces, we're stupid because we don't make no friends on YouTube. I think you can. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, and, and you can have a peaceful conversation with an adult. A lot of these people that we run into on YouTube are childlike. What do you think about those people with, um... Never mind, I don't want to go there. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I kind of see what you're, where you're getting at. Mm. Um, that's just like you and I have subscribed to each other on YouTube. Mm. And um, I did a video response to you or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. You know? And um, I know on my profile that I'm real big with networking. So since I am from the Bay, mm. and I live in Texas, and I'm here visiting, I was like, let me go ahead and, you know, hook up with you. Mm. Know, and try to make this more of a friendship thing. Yeah. The YouTube thing. YouTube gives you the opportunity to um, conversate with people around the world. Exactly. And, that's, and that's what's so awesome about it. Mm -hmm. Different point of views, a different topic, political, religion, whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, it allows you that opportunity to do that. Yeah, that's some good shit there. Yeah. You know, um, my first impression of you was like, oh, this is a beautiful young lady. Why is she putting her face out there like that? Because I know people say good things and, and people say bad shit on the bottom of the pages. Like you go from, you know, you're great, you help me to fucking nigger and hope you die. I mean, how does that affect you? Well, I really haven't had any um, hate um, messages on my page from the white man. Mm. I get it from the brother. Mm -hmm. They call me bitches and hoes and snakes and stuff. Mm. And at first it, it hurt my feelings because I thought they would be the least person to be hating on me on my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. But it's... It, it's them. They they my number one haters, believe it or not. Black man, huh? Black man. See? Wow. Brothers, you make us all look bad by being ignorant sometimes. I mean, most of the time. Well, we got four minutes and 43 seconds left on this first video. We're going to try to get 40 in if possible. Okay. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this, but um, I want to put this memory chip in here. And I'm going to take the memory chip out. They give it to you and you mail it back to me. Okay. That way we'll both have the information. Okay. And 
mess up my memory chip will come to Texas to get I'm you. I'm not going to mess it up. Your brother can't afford them, them two megabyte chips. Okay. <laughs> you know I don't know if we're going to get kicked out of here or not, but I don't care. So um, keep on going. we got time on this video. I try to rush the whole 10 minutes, and you're so beautiful. You got any tips for the people out there who want to make themselves look young? Because you stayed young forever. Um, drink plenty of water and take naps. Water and naps, right? Water and naps. I'm going to tell your age. No. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell her age. She's 20-something. <laughs> you know, Thank you, know, you, for you too. You know, but see, that's one thing I learned. Black people don't age like white people do. And my uh, mother, my grandmother, and they used to talk about that. But now, if you see some of these young ladies, they look old. You know, what do you think it is? I guess running the street, um, letting life get to them. Um, if, if you can't fix it, just let it go. Mm -hmm. Just let it go and keep living. Um, don't allow your your stress to overpower your health. Yeah, yeah. Um, that reminds me of what an older man told me. Uh, his name was Harold Jensen, the inventor of dry water. He told me, young people invite stress and drama into their lives. And it's not until you get a certain age where you actually let that shit go. Have you let it go yet? Oh, yeah, I let it go. I mean, I was that. I was that young people, <laughs> mm. and it's quote, well, I used to let it get to me, but mm. I think a lot of people do. You have to learn how to go through it, uh, see the effects of it, and then say, you know what, I don't want this to be a part of me for the rest of my life, and try to do something about it. That's some good shit there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to end this video two seconds early, and I'm going to give you the camera and let you talk to me. And then uh, we'll flip flop. And I'm sorry, we're having technical difficulties because my computer and shit is not happening. I mean, like, the shit is garbage. Nine hundred dollars worth of garbage. You know, I told I paid seven hundred, but I, I tell her about the rebate. It was nine. I had the rebate. Okay, so I gotta. I'm gonna stop this now, okay. and then we're gonna start another video. And I think I hit this button right here. I think it's this one. I think it's.